that's a wide-ranging issue uh, in any society, especially like South Africa, where we have uh, ethnic uh, divides, racial divides, religious divides, uh, class divide, ideological divides, etc. Uh, what we hope is to really uh, to find a common ground between all these groups and sectors of society uh, in order to have that dialogue uh, at the end we are all South Africans at the end we have all a vested interest in the development uh, of this society uh, for our own well-being and for our children future uh, so that needs really also uh, uh, a sense of justice when each section of society, when women, young people, uh, minority racial groups, ethnic groups, feel they have their fair share of, of, of the riches of the country or the future of the country, when they feel they have an opportunity to move forward, improve their, their lot, uh, I think we really start to have that very important social cohesion and society uh, instead of this destructive divisiveness of us and them, uh, which do really doesn't help at all. Mm -hmm. We are almost 20 years into our democracy. Yes, we've uh, overcome many challenges, but that of having a sense of ownership and a greater uh, share in the economic prosperity in South Africa is still very, very much missing. Where do we begin or how do we start fast-tracking that? I think there's a number of issues here. Uh, uh, you are aware, for example, that South Africa comes at the bottom of the Gini coefficient list and that is a shame really. Uh, the very high percentage of unemployment, uh, especially among young people. Uh, so there is still large sections of society uh, feel disenfranchised. And uh, well, the challenge for the government, of course, is really to come with the right sort of policies uh, to really help bridging uh, uh, these gaps. We need to pay attention uh, uh, to that problem. I mean, today is the anniversary of <coughs> Marikana. And that, again, if we need any example of the lack of social cohesion, here is it. And the consequences are really bad. Uh, so really we need, we need to start with that, to uh, start to bridge this gap. And actually the problem of, of, of the large divides between the haves and have-nots is not just a South African problem, it's a worldwide problem, unfortunately. This gap is opening up everywhere and uh, we need to be aware of that because it, it puts so much pressure on the fabric of the society and it, it can really end up in upheaval and unnecessary uh, uh, problems. In order to tackle those challenges, as you say, such as inequality, a government needs to pursue the right policies. What's your sense of the kind of policies that South Africa is pursuing at the moment? Uh, I think there's a number of challenges. Take land, for example. Uh, not much happened in that area. Uh, no doubt the policy of willing seller, willing buyer was very nice and very well intended, but it did not deliver the results. And people need to look at alternatives. And that's tricky, but it has to be done. The business of government is tricky as tough, but it has to be done. And we need to find a fair and reasonable way of doing it. It's still unacceptable that the land in issue in South Africa have not been resolved 20 years after independence. That some area need to be uh, addressed. The policy of black empowerment, I'm not sure it achieved what it's supposed to achieve. Where is it trickled through? Uh, did we really implement enough this, what you call here, triple? Triple A, you call it, uh, yes, it you know, triple E, E, you would call it. Uh, clearly, not much of that has been done. So we 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 need really to look at our. There is no shame 
in introducing a policy and then discover it doesn't work. The shame is we don't change enough quickly and we, we keep doing the same thing. I think was it Einstein who said that, uh, you know, uh, to try to repeat the same experiment and expecting different times really is, is ultimate stupidity. So we really need uh, uh, to move forward and find the proper solutions uh, for this problem. More attention also needs to be given to young people. This is a major problem, not only in South Africa, all over Africa, because we have a lot of young people. The demography of Africa is such that half of our, our population is below 19 years old. Millions of people coming into the market for jobs every year. Where are these jobs going to come from? These are the long-term issues the governments really need to focus on. They're not easy issues. They're tough ones. But who said the business of governance is, is, is simple? News that moves. ENCA.com.